and seaman Stuart Spurgeon are three men who escaped with their lives. This war is the most expensive war that has ever been waged. Already, it is costing this country at least six million pounds every day. An aeroplane today costs from three to seven times what uh, a comparable type of aeroplane cost in 1918. A division of troops requires uh, twice the expenditure for its equipment uh, and completion that it required in the last war. A battleship is two or three times as costly as was a battleship of our navy when our navy was last engaged. What is the reason? The reason is uh, chiefly the increasing complication and mechanization of the instruments of war. There are two new forms of investment now offered. First, there is a new form of saving certificate. If you hold the certificate for five years, you can then cash it for 17 and sixpence. If you hold it for 10 years, you can then get 20 shillings and sixpence for it. So it pays you to hold the certificate for the full 10 years. There's another thing about this savings certificate which I should like to mention. The interest earned by this savings certificate is not liable to income tax. Secondly, we have devised a novel form of investment called a defense bond. You can buy it in units of five pounds and it carries interest at 3% per annum. You have been reading uh, in the newspapers of this latest abomination of German savagery. The magnetic mine secretly deposited in the channels of the sea in order to blow up without warning neutral and British shipping alike and to destroy innocent civilian lives in breach of rules of war which Germany only two months ago had expressly promised to obey. Well, what do you think of that? Not even the uh, ingenuity of Herr Goebbels can suggest that these sinkings have been contrived by the perverse ingenuity of my colleague, Mr. Churchill, in order to throw the blame on Germany. But. What can ordinary men and women do? Well, this is what you can do. Everyone can do his utmost to strengthen this country and help to win the war by putting his savings, all his savings, at the service of Britain by investing in uh, these securities which I have described. Let the response be a measure of our unity and of our determination.